Hey, what's up guys? So the other day I was doing some plumbing and when I was all done with it, I ended up having a couple leaks. So that got me kind of nervous. So once I fixed everything up, I put one of these little water leak alarms down and uh, that got me thinking there's got to be a better way to do that, especially if I leave the house. Wouldn't it be cool to get a push notification if I, I had a leak or, you know, I could put something in the basement for flood detection or... Maybe even put something outside to detect rain. I don't know. Whatever you want. It's basically just a water level detector. So let me show you a little demo here. Okay, here's the setup. We've got the ESPD266 board here. This is a trig board. So the system is sleeping at less than one micro, micro amp. Uh, the probe is right here. So when we have water contact across the two uh, pieces of copper tape there, it's going to wake the trig board up and send that push notification out. So let's create a leak. So I'm just gonna create a little puddle right there and then you'll see as soon as it makes contact, right there, wakes the trig board up. So it's connecting to the Wi-Fi network here and sending out the push notification to my phone. We just got that and it says water leak. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and then the same thing works for my little rain sensor here. Let me show you that. So the idea with the rain sensor is the same as before, except I've got this pattern of copper tape there winding around uh, on this piece of acrylic so that if any water droplet lands on there, it'll make contact and wake the trick board up. So let me give you a quick demo of that. I'm just going to splash a little bit of water on it and see if I can wake it up. There we go. And the trick board wakes up, of course, connects to the Wi-Fi network and sends out the push notification via the push safer service. So there it is, rain detected. So pretty cool. Let's uh, take a closer look at this whole thing on the bench. So yeah, of course I used the trig board for this project because you know it really is a perfect example of how the uh, the trig board can be used. You know, it's a, a battery powered application. We want to wake up on an external event only and it just sits there sleeps and you know we only really care if something happens so it can send that push notification out to us when something happened so um yeah i've got this little this probe here that i made and this is just copper tape wrapped around some foam so you've got these two pads that are wired down to the trig board uh, one side goes to ground the other side through this little transistor circuit to feed into the digital input of the trig board which then wakes it up and sends that push notification out, which, by the way, the code that ships with the trig board out of the box just works for this, which is kind of cool. So when you're setting up the trig board, you give it the push safer key and the message and name, so like water leak or rain detected or whatever you want, and it just works. So make sure you check out the wiki for the trig board, and there's some examples there on how to set all that up. So this little transistor circuit here, um, I drew a little diagram up and this is kind of funny because it surprised me that this actually is the way I have it. And this is it. This is the way I have it wired up on both of my prototypes and it works great. And the reason I'm surprised is because this transistor, I, would, I thought I had wired it up um, the other way around. I thought I had the collector and emitter flipped, but I didn't. This is how it is. And uh, so one side goes to ground of the, uh, for the probe, and you can see I've got that over there on the expansion pad. And then the other side, through a 1K ohm resistor, feeds to the base of this 2N3906 PNP transistor. And that sort of acts like a switch. So when we get water detection there across these pads, it then conducts a tiny, tiny bit of current there to ground through the 1K resistor and that's enough to turn this transistor on like a switch and then wakes the trig board up. So you can kind of see that why I thought I had this the other way around, but again, I didn't. It's, it's funny how sometimes things work when you didn't really expect them to, but, and it probably would work if I flipped the cl collector and emitter, but this is the way I've got it. So I'm just going to leave it and it works great. So, uh, so we get that, that, current conduction through the emitter to base to ground which allows a lot more current to flow through the emitter to collector so that's the basic idea of that transistor so that's why you know v bat is sitting there at the battery voltage 
And then this black wire is the sense input to the trig board. So I'm gonna pull up that schematic real quick. So at the trig, trig board wiki, we can look at the schematic and you can see that we have that VBAT line and then the sense feeds in through the voltage supervisor circuit. So, you know, it's not pulling a lot of current, actually it's pulling practically no current at all. So that's why I think it still works as a switch because we don't really need uh, a lot of current input to the uh, to U1 there. So I think it, it still works, just I'm surprised it works as well as it does, put it that way. So because we need this to wake up on the closure of this contact, so when that transistor turns on, we get contact right across here and that wakes it up, we need to set the jumpers properly. So we've got two ways here of doing that. By default, it wakes up on the opening of the contact, like a normally closed type switch. So we need to switch these jumpers around. So we need to cut the two normally closed jumpers and then uh, solder blob over the two normally open jumpers. So let me uh, show you how that looks. So here's a zoomed in shot of this board that I just did. So you'll, with an X-Acto knife, very carefully cut the two normally closed jumpers and then I just blobbed some solder across the two normally open jumpers and that's it. So now when you get contact across the probe, it closes that transistor essentially and then wakes the trig board up and sends out the push notification. So I think that's all there really is to this project. So I'll have links in the description below for more information and where to get all this stuff. And uh, hopefully uh, you found that helpful and it was uh, definitely a cool project for me. So maybe it'll help you. Thanks.